Welcome all to Shine's Moon Night Message, where I take time to self-reflect while using astrology and knowing what sign the moon is transiting in. The moon is in Libra, transiting my 12th house. And I just want to talk about how my art journey has um, helped me relearn myself and help me see the hidden subconscious things that I have been holding on to since I was a little girl. And as a young girl, you know, I remember being so reactive towards my environment internally and externally. Not having this sense of awareness and understanding of what I was going through, you know, I, as I got older, it just got worse and worse. The more things that I didn't address and suppress, and you know, I kind of want to stop right there <laughs> and observe because. What you tell yourself will shape your reality. And, you know, that's the thing about being a spirit in a human body is that we may go through different twists and turns, but one thing we can all agree on is that we have or had the ability to get attached to ideas and emotions. And these ideas and emotions that are connected to our individual spirit. So having so much faith, so much belief, and so much imagination to the point that it just wills itself into this existence. And here we are on this earthly water cycle. So which is it? Did some religious god put us all here to get lost in the mind and in the body? No. I'm gonna chalk it up as we chose to be here and got lost within the creation, within the energies that we came here with. And as an individual spirit, you should all remember this. It should be held accountable for all of you. At this point, realize, realize we created ourselves. You created yourself. And no matter how shitty you may perceive your life to be, always remember you chose that. Or you chose to hang on to the idea of how shitty your life is, of how shitty your experiences are. You know, I'm not disregarding the horrible beings out there that are capable of doing horrid things in this world, but they will be dealt with through their own hells. And they will see their day Stepping outside of that, one thing we can all do is stop blaming the people, places, and things that are outside of you for your own experiences in your own life. And come back. Come back to nothingness and sit in your stillness. Be naked. Sit in your nakedness and teach yourself. Teach yourself separation. Separate from the mind and observe these thoughts and feelings that aren't you. Because you are the creator and not the creation. So 
to that confused young girl. I see you. And I hold you. And here, as I'm holding you, I'm enjoying every bit of it. Because I know, however polarized thought or feeling I get, I know it is meant to be viewed and transmuted towards the will of all possibilities. So yeah, relearn who you are.